Hi, I am Dr. Anjan Siotia, Director of Cardiology at BM Bidla Heart Research Center. I am going to be talking about peripheral vascular disease. Peripheral vascular disease is a clinical condition when we have blockages in the arteries that supply blood to the two lower limbs and this can lead to pain in the legs on exertion. So just like we have blockages in the heart artery due to deposition of cholesterol, similarly the same process can affect any artery in the body and when it affects the arteries of the legs then we call it peripheral vascular disease. The risk factor for developing peripheral vascular disease are the same as that of the risk factors for developing blockages in the heart arteries which is smoking, diabetes, high blood pressure, advanced age and mainly genetic factors. When we have blockages in the leg arteries then patients get symptoms on walking and we call it claudication. So they are all right at rest at least in the initial stages of the disease and when they walk their legs feel heavy and they get pain typically in the calf muscle. If you have blockages in the arteries of the upper leg then you get pain in the calf muscles on walking and then on rest that pain subsides. So these are the classical symptoms of peripheral vascular disease. In severe cases patients can develop ulcers on the feet and the toe and in extreme cases they can develop gangrene. But that is very advanced stage. The early stage is claudication pain on exertion. The way to diagnose peripheral vascular disease is initially some non-invasive test like a Doppler scan of the leg arteries and then a CT angiogram of the arteries. That is usually a very good test to detect blockages in the, in the arteries and then if any treatment is required then we offer an angiogram of the leg arteries followed by a definitive treatment which could be either an angioplasty where we put stents or balloons to open those blockages or refer the patient to a vascular surgeon who can do what we call a bypass of the leg arteries to clear or bypass those blockages and improve patient symptoms. In addition to these definitive treatment, lifestyle changes are extremely important. So we advise patients to stop smoking if they smoke and a large number of these patients do have a history of smoking or some form of tobacco consumption. We do advise strict diabetic control and we can offer medications which basically improve the blood flow to these arteries by causing the arteries to dilate or by giving blood thinner and cholesterol lowering medications. Thank you very much.